What's going on, TLA fam? Back with another Table Bottle Tuesday. I know last week you uh, saw something that I think I pre-filmed. Um, I think I did it. It was based off of Instagram Live that I did. I don't know. I can't remember. I was busy last week, so I had to do a reposting. But today, this Tuesday, Tuesday, November 8th. November 8th, if you can see that. I have something brand new for you. Um, it's something that I have never had before, besides for the sip I just took before I started filming this. Um, but I have had the owner of this tequila, their new tequila, I should say. Um, I have had that. I'm getting my laptop out. Get you guys some, uh, some more details on this. Make sure this bottle over here as to my left does not fall down because then I'll be pissed at that. Uh, but today I'm bringing you Cabo Wabo. This is their Añejo uh, version of it. Um, so it says oak barrel age for 12 months, 100% puro agave azul. Um, it is made in Los Altos, Jalisco, Mexico. Double distilled pure, uh, puro agave azul tequila, hand harvested, thick cut. All right. You guys are watching this on YouTube. You can see the bottle here. This is out of Nam 1414. Um, I did not know. I know this is a new bottle design from what I've been seeing of it. And I know that they have had uh, multiple different bottle designs. Um, give me one second here. I'm about to type up Cabo Wabo Tequila. See, I'm getting, I'm getting a little bit fancy here for you guys. Doing my little research here. Um, Who owns, so as you guys know, so I am wearing a Santo hat on purpose. Santo is the new brand from Sammy Hagar. This is the first brand from Sammy Hagar. Guy, uh, Santo is the one that Guy Fieri and Sammy Hagar owns. Obviously Cabo Wabo was the one that Sammy Hagar originally came out with. And from what I've been able to find, the, uh, the original, at least the original version of Cabo Wabo was absolutely damn good. Um, so I'm going to tap it to this and give you my thoughts on what you can get. Um, well, you, you know, what it tastes like right now. So there's Hemi Hagar Stones. Everyone in the world that had to go with the big, with the big liquor companies, Hagar Swain. When you walk into bars home, you want to see Cabo Wabo behind the bar. So I sold them amount, the amount of the company it took to make the deal. So he did sell Cabo Wabo to a bigger brand uh, 15 years ago for $80 million is what he sold Cabo, Sammy Hagar uh, sold Cabo Wabo for uh, to the original, uh, from what he originally owned. So yeah. I've only taken one sip of this in my life. See my little swinging light shape. I've only taken one sip of this in my life and that literally was like five minutes ago. So you see it in the glass, I'm on B-cycle glass. On the nose, I mean, I'm smelling fresh agave. I, I can definitely, I can definitely smell that barrel aged typical in yellow that you really want to look for in a good in yellow. Um, it smells delicious. Yeah, I'm not really getting, I mean, I get a little bit of sweet vanilla in there. Slight pepper. On my first sip, uh, it was first alcoholic drink I had of the night. Um, it wasn't that bad. I mean, it, had a, it was like a pepper bomb uh, when I first sipped it. So we'll see now.
All right, so while I, I'm still thinking about this, let me pour a little bigger pour in here. Um, as you guys will know, Table Bottle Tuesday, the ranking is, it's either gonna be a table bottle, meaning that this bottle is something that I would recommend for you to buy, take to a party, and you know, drink it. You're not upset if, you, if anyone drinks all the bottle. Uh, or it can be a mixer, meaning that you know, something that maybe is too harsh to for your palate, for you to sit down on the table, maybe, well, maybe it'll taste great in a cocktail, a Paloma, a Margarita, um, a, you know, a pineapple tequila, something of that nature. Or it's a cork and key, meaning that you're gonna cork it, keep it on the bar, only take it out for special occasions, or, you know, when you have a smaller group of friends there, um, that you really like and you don't mind if they drink it, you know? Uh, or top shelf, meaning you're not gonna be taking this out for anyone. Uh, you're definitely not gonna be allowing anyone to just to come and pour from it. It may not even leave your bar. So that's my ranking here. Uh, Cabo Wabo, let me say something else about Cabo Wabo. They have a Blanco, they have a Reposado, they have an Añejo. Um, I'm looking to see if they do have an XA. I'm not seeing an XA for them. Um, I got my handy dandy computer here. They have a coffee. They have a coffee, look, uh, coffee tequila. I'm not seeing an extra Añejo. Uh, let me type it in here. Do they have an extra ring? Yeah. I cannot find one for them. But anyway, so I believe I paid like 36 bucks for it, for this bottle uh, at my local uh, it's a spot called Bev de Tequila here um, in Chicago, in the South Suburbs. Uh, 36 bucks, you know, not that bad of a price. Um, you know, I always give, you know, I, I give you a little extra points if your price is, is right, you know. Um, it, it, it hikes you up in my book a little bit, you know, because some of these bottles, they just be so high for no fucking reason, man. They just, they're just expensive for no reason. So, you know, you get, Cabo Wobble gets a little extra points in my book for that. All right, I'm on the third sip now. I like to at least give th three, four sips, five sips before I really pass judgment on there because when you take your first sip, it's always the harshest. You're always getting the most prominent of flavors from there. Um, you take your se se second sip, it's still adjusting, still coating your palate. You know, you're starting to you know get the finer, finer flavors in there. Um, and you can start to form your idea. Third sip, you're there, you know, you're starting to see what it's all about. Fourth sip, you know, you're right in the sweet spot. You should know what you're gonna be drinking then. Uh, so, I mean, I'm going in for my fourth sip. You know, honestly, this is not that complex of a tequila. Um, it honestly, you know, it doesn't jump around the palate. It doesn't, um, it doesn't, it doesn't go from here to there on the tongue. It's almost just staying in one or two flavor quadrants for me. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and roll it off the shelf for top shelf. Um, it's not a top shelf. Um, you know, it just, it's not complex enough for me to be able to call it a top shelf worthy bottle. Um, what I'm thinking about right now is would I be able to just sip this clean? And that's my thought process right now. Would I be able to sip this clean? Um, and I'm sipping it clean right now. If you're listening to this on a podcast, I am sipping this clean right now. So I'm just like, you know, I'm trying to determine that. Let me take a couple more sips.
So I'm starting to get the caramel, I'm starting to get that, you know, the, the almond, the, that vanilla. Um, it's always like a combination. It's like a mixed combination in between those when it comes to, you know, these Inyahos and, and those, you know, if you're looking for the sweetness in your tequila, it's always a combination between those and it's more toward like that toasted almond to like vanilla, like a toasted vanilla flavor palette in there. But what's prominent in this is that pepper. That pepper is just, it's there. It's hitting you, you know, it's hitting you up front. It's going from start to finish is the pepper. Um, and it's, it is not, it's not calming down to let the other flavors really shine through. Um, so to be honest, like, I can't, I can't rule it a cork and keep either. Um, now the price is 36 bucks. So it does affect it all. You know, it does affect it. Um, to be honest with you, I mean, I'm not, it's not a, it's not a bad sip. I can sip this clean. Now, would I be able to sip this nonstop all day clean? Um, uh, to be completely honest, I, I don't think I would. I mean, I think I could have like a couple glasses clean, um, but that's because I also look at my palate. My palate is more of an advanced palate. I do prefer the more complex tequilas, but what I'm trying to think of is where it compares to other bottles that I know that other people, that, that palettes aren't as bougie, so to say, as mine. <laughs> um, where would they think of this? I mean, and to be honest with you, I think they would like it. You know, I think they would like it. Um, it's not something that's harsh. Um, it does, you know, it does feature a strong pepper. It does have that sweetness to it that a lot of people do like. Uh, at the price of 36 bucks, you know, you know, it's a nice bottle as well. I love, to be honest with you, I love the new label. Uh, I love the, little, the new look of the bottle. I think it's pretty dope. Um, I gotta, you know, it, it's better than a mixer for me. What I, what I want to taste this when I go upstairs. Am I gonna kind of make a little, uh, little, you know, little cocktail out of this? I probably will. There's a little bit left. I probably will. I'll probably throw some ice in there, put a little cocktail, you know, make a little cocktail with it, um, just to see what it is. But to be completely honest with you, I think this is a table bottle. I think that at the price of thirty six dollars. Um, it, it's not overwhelming. Uh, I wouldn't recommend people take shots for it. I think it's too good for shots, so to say. Or if you are a tequila drinker that really does just prefer shots, at 36 bucks, yeah, okay. Make it a, a nice shot tequila for you. Um, it's not top shelf, it's not the greatest, but it's not the worst. Um, and 36 bucks, I'd buy this again, put it on the bar for everyone else to drink. No one's going to be like, oh, fuck that shit. It's, you know, it's horrible. Nothing like that. You know, they're going to drink it, especially if you're like a casual tequila drinker. I think you would enjoy this, especially at 36 bucks. You know, if you're looking at what else, what other tequilas you're getting that are out there that are more expensive, uh, I would definitely grab this, especially if you're looking at the tequila, you know, the, well, at least celebrity, one-time celebrity uh, tequilas. You know, now you have Santo. I think Santo is definitely better than this, but we're not talking about that. Table bottle, you know, 36 bucks if you can find it for that price. Uh, table bottle, honestly, if I think if it was like 50 bucks, I wouldn't buy it uh, for a table bottle. I think there's other options that are better for table bottles in that price range, but $36, definitely table bottle, Cabo Wobble. You know, pretty damn decent job, you know. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it enough. I'll say it that way. I enjoyed it enough. So, yeah. Nom, at a nom, 1440 again. Cabo Wabo and Yeho, November 8th. Table Bottle Tuesday. Table Bottle, guys. Cheers.